We're not gathered here united tonight because of the name of our teams or of our schools, but because of the name above all names, Jesus. Hey everyone, I'm John Irwin. I'm writer, co-director of the new movie Woodlawn, coming to theaters October 16th. Love for you to check it out. It's a true story on the power of revival and racial reconciliation through the love of Jesus Christ. A couple years back, I went to this thing called the Explo 72 in Dallas. I joined 100,000 other people just like us. One thread in the film, it actually bookends, it starts the film, ends the film, and an incredibly powerful scene in the middle is an event called Explo 72. That was a crew event, vision of Bill Bright's, executed by Paul Eshelman, who has become such a dear friend. It was really in many ways the culmination of the Jesus Movement. 100,000 kids packed the Cotton Bowl, and it was the peak of something that God was doing all over the country that became known as the Jesus Movement. You look at this. I mean, take a look around. Can you believe it? This is what happened when God shows up. It has quite a theme in the story. In fact, I wouldn't really be a film director or even a Christian if it wasn't for Expo 72 because my parents came to Christ in many ways through the ministry of Campus Crusade. They had their honeymoon at Expo 72. They were there, as were so many of the leaders of the church today. It's unbelievable how many people can trace their calling back to Expo 72. On the last night of the week, they're in the big cotton bowl they shut off the lights. And in that darkness, Reverend Graham lit a candle, a single candle. I was standing in the very back of the stadium. But I could see that light. One of the things that I love about it being in the film is that we hope it happens again. We hope there is another Jesus movement in our time, in our generation. We hope God does something now uh, as powerful, even more powerful than he did then. And I realized that my life is not insignificant. My life matters. One light became two, and two became ten, and ten became a hundred thousand. When we show that scene, people are spontaneously lighting the LED flashlight on their cell phone. There was 5,000 of those in Birmingham. It was amazing to see. And it just shows the power of that event in history and also the hunger for it to happen again. So what Woodlawn is, is a big football movie, true story about revival and racial reconciliation. But why we're making the movie is we want another Jesus movement in our time, in our generation, and we want more visionary leaders like Bill Bright and like Billy Graham to stand up and say, we want this to happen to us and we want this to happen now. So I am incredibly grateful to the ministry of Crew, to Steve Douglas, to everyone there for the incredible legacy of the ministry and the fact that Woodlawn wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the ministry. The outpouring of Expo 72 was the instigation of this story, but also for the opportunities that we have together to see this happen again now in our time. So I'd love for you to go see Woodlawn on October 16th and see if maybe, just maybe, what happened then can happen again today. Tonight, we're asking you in a moment or two to light a candle to symbolize that we are going to go out of this place to proclaim a gospel that could bring peace to our world that could change all the social injustice and a gospel that can transform the lives of millions of people on every continent. And we're challenging you tonight to do it.